The heat island effect when city neighborhoods can be much hotter than outlying suburbs. Why do they exist? Because our city has a wide variety of land uses and surfaces. For example, Atlanta's lush tree canopy helps to keep many single family residential areas cooler. But in contrast, areas in a concrete jungle with buildings, asphalt and concrete absorb and re-emit heat keeping those areas warmer throughout the day and night. Last September, Spelman and other local institutions paired together to put a number on the heat extremes. The 60 volunteers rode their bikes, drove their cars around the city three times on that September day and found that on average, the hottest parts of the city are 14 and a half degrees hotter than the coolest parts. The central part of Atlanta, downtown, Midtown, where those large buildings are actually hotter than where the trees, the vegetations are. So uh, we do see a pretty big and strong uh, temperature hotspot over the downtown area. The 48,000 temperature measurements showed which neighborhoods faced the greatest threat from extreme heat. According to Dr. Guan Yu Huang, who helped administer the study, historically underserved communities are the greatest impacted by more extreme heat. People of color and the you know, community of color, uh, people of color actually suffering more heat than, you know, in the surrounding areas. That's kind of what we, we found. The city of Atlanta stepped up to become a huge partner in the study. It aims to use the data to highlight which neighborhoods need improvements to curb the impacts of the extreme heat. While green roofs are a recent trend among developers, planting trees and adding small parks to those hottest parts of the city can be the easiest solution to help Atlantans.